In this video, we are looking at finding the area of a triangle. Before watching the rest of this video, you need to be comfortable with finding the area of a rectangle and finding the area of a parallelogram. If you're not sure about either of those, make sure you go back to topics G16A and G16B. We're going to start with this blue triangle in the middle. How do we find the area of this triangle? Well, an important thing we can note is that any triangle can be considered as half of a parallelogram. I've now added a little bit to the diagram, so hopefully you can see I've got a parallelogram. Let's recap how to find the area of a parallelogram. The formula for the area of a parallelogram is simply base, so that's the length of one side that we're going to call the base, multiplied by the perpendicular height of the parallelogram from that base. Remember, perpendicular means at right angles. So let's look at the parallelogram we've got here. If we call this side the base, then the perpendicular height of the parallelogram is 7 centimetres. It is 7 centimetres because this length is at right angles to this length. We can't use the 9 centimetre length in this case because it's not at right angles to the base that we've chosen. This is in fact an obtuse angle. So the area of this parallelogram is 10 centimetres multiplied by 7 centimetres, which gives us 70 centimetres squared. And the triangle is going to be half of that, which is 35 centimetres squared. We can use this observation that a triangle is half of a parallelogram to write a formula for the area of a triangle. We get that the area of a triangle equals the base multiplied by the perpendicular height divided by 2. So this is the formula that we're going to use for the rest of this video. I'll just rub out the formula for the area of a parallelogram that we don't need anymore. Let's just see this formula in action for the triangle that we've just looked at, so I can show you how you would set out your working. In this particular case, then, we'd say the area, and I'd identify my base and perpendicular height, and the only ones I can use from the information given are the 10 centimeter side here and this seven centimeter perpendicular height. So I'm going to write base, which is 10, multiplied by 7 and divide that by 2. Don't forget to divide by 2. A lot of students forget this and get the answer wrong as a result. 10 times 7 is 70. Divide that by 2. That gives us 35. And the units we need for this question are centimetres squared. Let's go to the first triangle now, this green one on the left hand side. Now, this triangle is actually half of a rectangle, but a rectangle is just a special type of parallelogram, so the same formula will work. If I draw in the other two sides of the rectangle or special parallelogram, we see that the area of the rectangle would be 8 multiplied by 5, which is 40 centimetres squared, and halving that, we get that the triangle should be 20 centimetres squared. How would we set this out using the formula? Well, I would say area equals base, which is 8, multiplied by perpendicular height, which is 5, and divide that by 2. 8 times 5 is 40, divide it by 2, we get 20. And again, in this case, we've got units that are centimetres squared. The important thing is, because this was a right angle triangle, I know that these two lengths are perpendicular to each other, the 8 centimetre base and the 5 centimetre perpendicular height. 
So these two happen to be two sides of the triangle. Whereas if we go back to the blue one, I couldn't multiply these two sides of the triangle, the 10 centimeter long and the nine centimeter long side, because they are not perpendicular to each other. Finally, we've got the third triangle, the yellow one on the right hand side. Pause the video and see if you can work out the answer to this one. Here we can see again how the yellow triangle is actually half of a parallelogram, but I've got to be careful choosing my base and height. I can't use this 14 centimetre length. This is not actually the length of any side of the parallelogram. What I can use is the 10 centimetre length given here. That is the length of this side of the whole parallelogram. And the perpendicular height of the parallelogram is five centimetres. That's not the same as this length of the triangle or the parallelogram. It is this length here, which is at right angles to this length here. Therefore, we have a base and a perpendicular height. Notice that when we say base, it doesn't have to be horizontal on your page, like in the first two examples. We could have a base going in any direction. And all we really care about is that we need to multiply that base by a perpendicular height that is at right angles to it. So in this case, the base goes that way and the perpendicular height goes that way. Setting up the working in full then, we get area equals 10 times five, and don't forget to divide by two. 10 times five is 50, dividing that by two gets us two. 25. And again for this one we've got units of centimetres squared. 